I'm back with another press on video and today we're gonna be trying out Scandal Beauty. These are the press ons that I'll be trying out. Well, just one of them, but I didn't know anything about this company until I did my Nikita and McCart press ons. That video. <laughs> Um, I don't really keep up with the drama and all that stuff, so I didn't really know like what the big deal was, but apparently everybody hates Nikita Dragon and I guess I'm just the old lady and I don't I don't keep up with all that. <laughs> People were saying, well, even this company claimed that these designs were stolen. The Nikita McCart press on designs were stolen from them, which I think is a little bit of a reach. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't really know anything about the drama, but I, I do want to thank y'all. Like y'all made that video like the best video of 2022 so far. So um, I may have to do what I gotta do to keep the little drama coming. No, seriously. <laughs> Everybody was telling me how I shouldn't have done that video. I shouldn't have gave her spotlight and she's problematic. But I do wanna let it be known that this is a nail channel and I am a open-minded person. I'm gonna try a nail product, whether it's from, I mean, it's gonna be polarizing, but hell, if Donald Trump came out with some press-ons, I'm curious enough to try it out. So, you know, Y'all can take that. Y'all can be mad at me, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I do. So, but anyway, I wanted to get into the Scandal press ons because there was this whole controversy where Scandal Beauty felt like Nikita Dragon copied because I, apparently she placed the order. But from what I was seeing, the order was for the keychain. And I picked up the keychain as well because um, it's a pretty cool idea. It just got some tweezers on the end with like the sharp part covered. Apparently she ordered this and they're like, yeah, she placed the order with us and then she came out with McCart press on and copied. And I'm just like, okay. But anyway, here's the key, the keychain. I do like it has these little rubber things on it because I be using tweezers and I scratch my credit card and I'm mad about that. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using that from now on. But I just kind of wanted to take a look at the stolen nail design. I mean, come on y'all. French manicure, there is not really a patent on it. It's a very basic design in uh, black and white. Now I will say the shape of scandals is so much better. Like even in my initial review, I was like, why, why are these orange? <laughs> these are definitely more modern, but did she copy? Did she steal? Uh, I think that's a reach. So today I'm gonna be trying out these pink glitter ones. So we're gonna try out these and I really do like the glitters. They had a lot of glitter designs and it seems like they have, you know, random designs here and there. So you kind of have to check back. But this, this little packaging is like the cutest. I really like that. It's like a little cell phone. I'm just, I'm a stickler for packaging, so I like that. So with this, you get instructions, you get your sticky tabs, alcohol wipe, nail glue, and the nail tips. And already I can see I'm gonna like the shape of these. Everything came really nicely packaged. You get, you know, their little logo, kind of retro feel. That's the whole company. It's like this early 2000s kind of feel. And then they, you know, they put little thank you notes. You know, I got my whole government, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that was nice. So let's bust these open and see what we working with. Okay, so you got the main show pieces there and then your extra tips are in the bag. Let me zoom in just a little bit so y'all can see the glitter on these. It is really, really pretty. Ooh, yeah, oh my goodness. These are, these are really cute. They feel very, very sturdy. I can't really squish them. The cuticle area is thinner, but not as thin as some of the other press-ons that I've tried. Yeah, these feel hard. <laughs> Let's see, I was debating. I kind of wanted to keep my, my nails. I like how they look grown out. They're getting pretty. <laughs> Ooh, okay. At this point, I'm beginning to be able to like eyeball my sizes here. And I miss this. It, it comes with this little manicure stick as well. So let's get the sizes out. Ooh, 
These are cute. Oh, these are gonna look really good once I put them on. I can already tell. Yeah, y'all, but I just thought it would be a good idea to, you know, try the Scandal Beauty. Honestly, though, I feel like they were just trying to get a little bit of clout off of it. Cause you know, negative PR works with selling your products as well. So, you know, I can't, I can't knock anybody hustle but it is what it is. I just know that, you know, I ain't really for all that. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about things. And if you don't agree, that's totally fine. I just think people just get on like this hate train and expect everybody to kind of think the same way. And some things I just don't agree with. Okay, and that one. Oh, that look good. Okay, so there is a number in there. It's crazy. I'm actually really picking the sizes that I normally pick. We got one, five, four. What was this? A five? Yep. And maybe a ten. You know, I'm a I'm a few press on videos in, and now I got it like to a to a T. I know my sizes now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these back. These are really cute. Okay, so let's see how they want us to apply these. Like, why is this booklet backwards? <laughs> They're opening it like, you know, we're in Japan or something. So it says, select correct finger, da -da -da, prep your nails, cut and shape your nails. Oh, they want me to cut my nails, that's fine. I could do that. Use one drop for short wear and two to three for longer wear. They go right like into <laughs> the specifics. Oh, okay. Tips and tricks. If you have flat nail beds, try using both the adhesive tabs and the nail glue together for a better fit. Some of you guys were telling me that in one of my videos in the comments and I think I may try that because some of my fingers are flat. First thing is, let me cut my nails. I just said I wasn't gonna do it and they said, you need to cut your nails. <laughs> they look a little brown because they always get tinted when I do my makeups. All right, so I'm just kind of rounding out the corners just so you won't see anything sticking out. Push back my cuticles. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see, but these little um, adhesive tabs have numbers on them so you can kind of match them up with the number that you're using to put them on. I think that's a good idea. We're gonna just use their alcohol wipe since they supply it. Just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. Uh, one reason why I don't use like peel off base coat or anything like that is because I have really oily skin. I have oily nails and peel off base coat, it does not last on me. The nails be popping off. Like when I used to try to use it and I would go to file my nails, they'll, they'll just pop off. So yeah, peel off base coat doesn't really work for me. That's why I don't use it. <laughs> All right, so this is their Scandal Beauty nail glue. You know, nail glue is nail glue. And I'm getting better at opening the nail glue. And that one is already open, so you don't have to stab it with anything. And some people like ask, why do I always start with the pinky? I don't know, that's just kind of the way I've always done my nails. And it's because when I do acrylic, it's easier for me to start from the pinky and work my way to the thumb. And that's just kind of the way I've been doing it for years. So you don't have to do it like this, it's just the way that I do it. All right, so we're gonna grab the size 10 little sticky tab. Am I doing this right? <laughs> no. Okay, let's see. All right. You actually have to grab the sticky tab. Since I'm a little off center here, we're just gonna put it right there. Press it down. All right. Oh, I didn't go down far enough. Okay. Oops. All right, so we got something that looks like that. Then we're gonna put the nail glue in. Put a little, I don't think I would need that much. I really hope I'm able to reuse these after this because I feel like these are gonna be one of my favorites. <laughs> We're just gonna pop this on. Um, I don't think the instructions said for a set time to hold down the nail. I'ma just do like six seconds like I normally do. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh, no, what'd I do? It was sliding up. Uh-oh, I don't know. <laughs> I may have messed this one up already. Dang it, I thought I, okay. I mean, I could have went a little further back, but it's okay, I can work with that. Ooh, this looks so cute. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Scandal, Scandal has the shape, okay? I really like the shape of these. All right, this one is a size five. All right, this time we're gonna take, put the sticky pad back further. Oh, I be feeling so dumb when like, <laughs> I be figuring out stuff that everybody like apparently already knows about press-ons and I'm like, hey y'all, I'm new here. How y'all do this? <laughs> this technique though, you don't have to use so much glue. Cause I noticed after a few days, it starts to get like crusty looking. I don't really like that. All right, we gonna try this again. Okay, that's what was happening. It was sliding a little bit because the glue is wet and then the sticky tab is there. So I had to be careful. I also learned from you wonderful subscribers in the comments that I don't need to press the press ons as hard as I've been pressing them. <laughs> I'm so used to kind of putting nail tips on and you kind of have to press those like hard and squeeze them and all that stuff to make sure they fit. So I realized I don't have to do that with press ons, so. Thank you, like, y'all are really helping me out with like learning press ones. <laughs> Ooh. Y'all, like I even like it, these have like an apex. <laughs> they look good. All right. One thing that I will always love about press ons is they are fast. Like honestly, y'all, I don't be feeling like doing all that all the time no more. It really be taking me like four, four and five hours to do nails. <laughs> I ain't got time like that no more. These are so cute. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. I love the shape of these, the length and everything. I don't even have to do anything to these. Now this is the nail that I definitely need some help with because this little finger is so flat, y'all. Like <laughs> when I do my nails, I always have to extra build these up because they are so flat. I would never thought to put glue and adhesive tabs together. I don't know, it kind of seemed like something that shouldn't be done, but if they say do it. Okay, this is also my crooked finger. So I need to make sure I'm putting on the press on straight. Oh my goodness, those look so good. So I do feel like these um, have like a C curve to them. So if your nails are flat, I can see how, you know, why they will recommend this because you have to kind of fill in that gap. So yeah. <laughs> Let me get y'all a close up while I'm over here Googling over these because look at that. I can't wait to see these under like a flashlight. I know they're just gonna bounce. I'm happy. Out of all the press ons I've been trying so far, these are definitely the best shaped ones. I don't have to do anything to them. Like, this looks like an acrylic set. I am just, I am blown away. <laughs> all right, I may have to go back to Scandal's website and see what else I like. Um, and they were pretty affordable. I can't remember exactly. Let me look up, see how much I paid for these. Yes, I did pay for these. <laughs> this is not sponsored since, you know, we have to say that now. I don't know why we gotta say that, but you know, whatever. All right, so these were $27. I think they're definitely worth it. Okay, so yeah, all of them were $27. Even the other two that were part of the controversy. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie though, like these are, these are really cute. These are cute. And these, um, you know, you definitely can add your own twist to these and put your stones and all that. McCart, I mean, <laughs> it's a little orange. <laughs> but yeah, I like these. And I like the case. I like the whole kind of retro feel. Got a little Blackberry. This is cute. Uh, did they say how many pieces come in here? Okay, you get 30 pieces. <laughs> That's, you know, information that a lot of you would like to know. So, you know, it's a, it's a good amount of size that you get in here. All right, so y'all know how this go. I'm gonna wear these nails for a week and we'll see the wear and tear and how long they last. Oh, this is a picture? No, oh, it's a video. It's a video. Oh, okay, I see, I couldn't tell. I am doing um, day two update and so far, so good. These look really good. They look like acrylic. Somebody, oh, I wish I remembered your name. I'm so sorry, but they dubbed us the coffee in the cup crew. <laughs> I like that. And we're about to go get our coffee right yep. now. Oh, this looks so good, y'all. A chocolate croissant. Take a bite. 
all right so i'm gonna do my quick little update it is july 4th evening and we got the barbecue going oh here he come he coming with the meat with the meat so now still doing good i think this is day two yeah no i'm sorry day three and uh they still on there they feel different because i used the sticky tabs but i don't know if i like them or not i'll keep y'all updated but how we finna drop that meat i can't talk <laughs> I'm trying not to burn myself. That's okay. Just Four. make it good. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> and now it is dinner time. Yay. Maya been eating some of this sausage. You should be full. Right. No, nope, you're still eating. Thank you. Oh, you welcome. <laughs> All right. It's time to eat. Mm -mm. All right, so this is day five check-in. And as y'all can see, everything is still looking really good. I love the shape of these nails. Next time I use them though, I think I am going to glue them on without the sticky tabs because I don't like, um, let me see if I can get close so y'all can see. Yeah, I don't like this little gap. It leaves like, it's stuck on there, but I can only imagine like what crud is in there. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how the nails are kind of just floating on top of my nails, rather being sealed in when it's like glue or acrylic. Yeah, right there. You can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just like this this gap. I don't I don't like that. All of them don't seem to have, well, no, I take that back. They all have that kind of tiny gap. I don't know. It could be just a user error. Maybe I put the um, the uh, sticky tabs on too far down and not, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't like it. <laughs> but they are holding up. Um, I've washed my hair. I've taken multiple showers. I've exercised in them and the sticky tabs are still on there. These are sticky, okay? Um, I mean, I'm sure probably the glue help. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But they're still on, but I just don't like that kind of lifting, floating feeling. But they so cute. And also I wanted to show y'all what it looked like um with the flash on. So let me let me turn the lights off. There we go. Yeah, like the glitter kind of has this like really cute effect in the light. I like it. I really like it. So much so that I think I'm probably gonna end up wearing these when I go out of town in a few weeks because they cute. Alright, so that's all I have for now. Ooh, look at that. That's all okay. good. Ooh, I'm gonna get real close for y'all. Yeah, so y'all see what I'm talking about with this little this little gap here. Look at that, y'all. This is just no. No, no, no. It's like you have a constant lift. And although they're not gonna go anywhere, I don't I don't like that. So yeah, next time we're gonna glue these babies on. Oh, I'm so mesmerized. Okay, I gotta get to work. So we made it to day eight. Yeah, day eight. <laughs> <laughs> and as y'all can see, the nails are still hanging on strong. I'm ready to take these off, y'all. I am not a fan of the glue tabs. Like, if y'all could see, y'all can't see, but ugh. It's like the nail just kind of moves around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's on there, but it's not like I don't I don't like the sticky tabs. So next time I try these out, I'm definitely just gonna glue them on because other than that, I love these. They are so cute and they did not lose their shape either. So that is a good sign as well. So yeah, if you guys enjoy press-ons and enjoy me trying out press-ons for a week, check out this video right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.